So this is what it looks like in Texas. This is on February 16th at about 4.45, 5 in the evening. Today it actually got up to 38 according to the thermometer on my porch, but this is what it looks like after last night having lows in the range of about 1 to 3 degrees Fahrenheit. And so this is actually my driveway. There's still people crazy enough to be out on the road trying to drive it. The road is solid packed ice. It's not snow on the road anymore. It's all been packed ice. I went out and tried to stand on the ice or to see if I could walk across the road and I got partly out away from the snow on the edge and it was way too slick to even want to stand on. And yet there's people driving. So, which is great if you're not in Texas where this hasn't happened since 1989. On the first night it was snowing hard. I measured about nine and a half inches on the top step of my back porch, which is protected from the wind on the south side of my house. So it wasn't a snow drift, it was just what fell straight down under the eave of the roof. And then it snowed for two more hours after I took the measurement of over nine inches. So I'm guessing we had somewhere between 10 and 12 inches of snow. So it's been quite the historic, quite the historic snowfall for Texas. We can see, because it warmed up, a few patches where the snow wasn't as thick, where the wind blew it thin, have melted to the ground. But, you can see the field coming into my house. It's uh, quite the snow. My footprints where I walked in and out. So, this is basically what we're dealing with. Here in Texas, most people don't own snow boots, but I happen to have an old pair of fireman's boots, which are heavily insulated to keep you away from heat. And so that's what I'm wearing is hip high fireman's boots to walk in this. There's the lake, still completely frozen over. Again, we've had several hours today from around lunchtime for about five hours of above freezing temperatures. And the little pond on the property is still 100% solid frozen over. Pretty crazy. It's like, uh, out into the winter wonderland, which is amazing for Texas that this has it started freezing uh, early in the evening before sunset on Friday night. So somewhere around 5 or 5.30 in the evening on Sunday or Friday. It's now Tuesday and we are still blanketed in snow. Quite the amazing event. We saw temperatures this almost this cold back in 1989. We saw snow back in 84 or 85. That was one time about four inches and one time about six inches, about two weeks apart. And since then, this kind of thing has not really happened to this extent. We've had it where we had snow or ice that lasted for a day, 
but you know this is Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Looks like it'll be Wednesday and we may not be gone yet. So it's, again, you can just see it's completely covered up in snow everywhere we go. So this is what's happening in Texas.